Today's Military Matters is sponsored by Navy Federal Credit Union. I, it makes me remember all of the times uh, that I've come through this gate, right? The signs are everywhere that Fort Benning is becoming Fort Moore. We were there as workers switched the letters on this very visible sign on the way to the Army installation near the National Infantry Museum. The Garrison Command Team, responsible for soldiers and families on post, say the transition is an emotional one. And I couldn't be more proud to be a part of this iconic change into Army values, family values. There's a stone gate like this in Alabama and also right here in Columbus. And ever since this has been here, it said welcome to Fort Benning. Now it says welcome to Fort Moore. It'll be officially unveiled on May 11th, one of about 300 signs they're changing. Close to half those signs already changed. The rest being done on Thursday, May 11th, when it officially becomes Fort Moore. It's been Fort Benning for 105 years, and for those who say they'll always call it that, this colonel says no matter the name, they're still committed to the same mission, producing greatly trained combat soldiers. And really, nothing is changing on Fort Benning. Ranger school isn't getting any easier on Fort Benning, right? Airborne school isn't getting easier. Uh, these things are all the same. What, what we like to say is this is an opportunity for us to align with a contemporary family moving forward, right? Uh, uh, such an inspirational leader, Hal, and of course his wife, Julia Moore. I think we hit the, the absolute uh, lottery ticket per se. When we talk about, we're the only installations being, you know, me uh, memorized for a, a husband and, and spouse team. Fort Moore is being named for Vietnam War hero Lieutenant General Hal Moore and his very involved wife Julia, both buried on Fort Benning. And the signs are just the start of the changes. Well, we have three roads that are changing. Fort Benning Road here will be changing to Legacy Boulevard, for example. We have two other roads on post, Dixie, Dixie Avenue and, uh, and Stonewall Road that will both be changing. All of our police and fire badges on post all say Fort Benning on there, right? And most of them have come in now, the ones that say Fort Moore. So that's a reimbursable cost. He tells us the total cost of the Department of Defense is an estimated $5 million to make changes at all nine U.S. Army posts named for Confederate leaders and being rebranded as mandated by Congress. What it means to most to me is it really shows a bit of history and a bit of the future. A new name that Fort Benning leaders hope inspires future generations that will serve as they cover up the change sign until it's unveiled next week. For Military Matters, I'm Jason Dennis. Today's Military Matters report is sponsored by Navy Federal Credit Union.